Hi, my name is Matt and welcome to today's episode. My plan is to sail my 27 foot Maxi Phoenix Little Wing all the way from the Netherlands to Spain in about three months. In this video, I will go from Blankenberger in Belgium to Boulogne sur Mer in France, a total distance of about 90 miles. The lines you see are my actual tracks, so it's exactly the directions the boat traveled. The English Channel is quite challenging to navigate. Not only are there large differences in water depth between low and high tide of up to 6 meters, but also these tides create strong currents that will push you back or help you to move quicker. On top of that, the wind also tends to come from southwesterly directions, which means that sailing boats will have to do a lot of tacking if they want to go south. Today I will show you a bit of Bruges and then we will go all the way to Bologna sur Mer. Having arrived at Blankenberger around midnight, the next day proved to be very windy. Take a listen. So I decided to visit the small town of Bruges. Yes, that's the one from the movie. So Bruges is the capital of West Flanders in Belgium. Its name probably derives from bridge in Old Dutch, and boy are there a lot of bridges. Bruges was one of Europe's most important trade locations, due to its tidal inlet and thus access to the North Sea. However, in the early 15th century, the so-called Swin Channel dried up and the city fell behind to Antwerpen and eventually Rotterdam. It's basically a well-conserved medieval trade town, and thus in the 19th century it started to become the popular tourist destination it still is today. But let's go back to sailing. The next morning I left the marina early and headed out towards Dunkirk. The wind calmed down a little bit and it would be a great day of sailing. Or shall I say motoring? Hi! Welcome from uh, Belgium. So we're on our way to Dunkirk in France. Um, started this morning at uh, around 8.30 from Blankenberger in Belgium. And uh, there's not much wind, maybe about 5 knots, it was supposed to be 5 to 15, so there was a good chance to have some good wind, but there isn't. So after all, it's uh, back to the old motor again, and uh, I think that my uh, hat gasket might not be okay anymore. Uh, there's a little bit of white smoke coming out of the motor, so of the exhaust, so... Um, yeah, I'll definitely have that checked once I'm in Dunkirk, which should happen in about uh, three hours. So it's 14 miles away right now. And we're going uh, with the current, which is nice. So speed over ground, 4.5, uh, 5.4. And uh, the boat is actually only doing 4.1. So, uh, this will, this will still be like that until uh, about 2.30 and then the current will change again as the tide uh, turns as well. So, not that much going on today. The old 
flotilla pilot is doing its job really well but it's also not too challenging today yeah there's a lot going on right now those are boats all going to Dunkirk I think one two three four five and six and more are coming back there which is probably not visible on camera but yeah so now we just crossed the French border which is I'm not sure if you can see it probably not the little black line over here we just crossed it so I will change the Belgium uh, flag to the French one. So here's my Belgium flag and I'll put up the French one. Leave la France! Finally the wind picked up, it's about 4 miles to Dunkirk and uh, this is some super nice sailing. I could uh, switch off the engine finally, there's, uh, there's a lot of sun out here, loads of boats coming in with me, I might be able to pick them up and yeah, super enjoyable sailing. Five knots, still with the current helping. So finally we arrived to the port of Dunkirk in France. I really liked the marina. The weather was great and the people were friendly. I would end up being here longer than I thought, a total of two days, because I wanted to check the head gasket of my engine. It was leaking a little bit of oil and I wanted to make sure that nothing would be wrong with it. So I got a technician on the boat and asked him to check the engine. Luckily he said that the engine would be fine and a little bit of oil is normal on these older motors. So with a little bit of delay we finally ended up going to Calais. Good morning, so it is 7.43, almost high tide and we're leaving Dunkirk to go to Calais. 25 miles of distance, uh, we've got some nice winds during the day. Uh, relatively strong up to 20 knots uh, and then we seem to have a little bit of a small gale coming up around uh, 6 o'clock so I hope to be in Calais at around 3 so then we should be good and then <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit of an adventure with the uh, mooring boys because uh, I've never done that before and I'm uh, obviously solo so uh, let's see how that goes it's uh, quarter past 10 we have fantastic wind to sail and uh, everybody knows that so there's like I don't know maybe 20 boats or more out on the water We're going in both directions but most of them are going into the direction of Calais which is where we are heading as well so Wind is coming from uh, we have a broad reach, which is nice. Speed is 5.2 about, which is great. 
and the current is just about to turn which means that we will get an extra knot for free and then I expect to be in Calais more or less around two to three o'clock as planned everything is good hello so we've been flying to Calais uh, yeah with like 7.4 knots at times so super quick for that little boat and the uh, sun is shining it's great I'm really really tempted to go to Boulogne-sur-Mar which is the next harbor uh, which is another kind of 20 miles gone uh, away so um, the thing is it's gonna get really really windy uh, around 6 o'clock um, and I'd have to close haul to uh, Boulogne yeah? so I think uh, I'll go the safe route and try Calais for tonight because the winds will also be better tomorrow um, but yeah great sailing So we've made it to the mooring buoys, uh, just waiting for the bridge to open, which uh, should happen in about uh, one hour, I think, a little bit more. Uh, it's really, really hot, more than 30 degrees Celsius. And yeah, the, the buoy was, was relatively easy. It took me like three attempts to catch it, but uh, after all, it's not really rocket science. Um, this, is, this is it. Yep, just a line on a mooring buoy. Hello from the English Channel. So I started this morning around 10.30 when the bridge opened in Calais Marina and uh, then it was all about tacking, um, close hauling to uh, round the Cape uh, and today's, um, today, today's trip is going to Boulogne-sur-Mer which is a small harbor uh, about 20 to 22 miles from Calais and uh, yeah we have quite a bit of wind 10 to 20 knots it's fine I have one reef in and we're very close to the cliffs of Dover we rounded the Cape and took course on Boulogne. After the wind died we immediately hit the squall and I had to take down the headsail. I should have reefed the mainsail as well but couldn't be bothered. Finally I took shelter in the marina to wait out the bad weather. Thank you for watching and see you next time.